let's do some seracoting. I had a couple of small brackets that I needed to refinish and seracot was the thing that I decided to try on these. So this step is basically just getting your part or parts as clean as you can. I used acetone and a brush then I blasted uh, them dry with compressed air by that point you have to remove or have all the loose dirt removed and have no grease or anything on them the next step would be to take these parts to a uh, sand blast machine and blast all the surfaces to create a proper profile there are specifications as far as the blast media goes I just used whatever was loaded in the machine I really didn't care that much just was getting surfaces blasted that was good enough to me so once that's done you also have to clean these parts one one more time with a degreaser or acetone or whatever and then dry them up again uh, it's also recommended to uh, bake them a little bit to get all the solvents evaporated. So the next step would be to just fixture your parts. So in a nutshell you attach them to a wire or whatever else you can figure out. So when you spray the paint you don't touch any surfaces that you're painting or you're not touching any painted surfaces. So I figured this wire that would just hook up in a couple of spots spots or places there is a hole and uh, by the time this fixturing is done you're really ready to spray spray the paint and that really worked out pretty good for me so the next the next step would be to mix your uh, paint mix the Cerakote with uh, well, you mix whatever the ratio that is specified for the type of uh, Cerakote that you're using. Then this one was uh, 18 to 1. And then you have to stain it and you have to use a specified stainer uh, that's suitable for your type of Cerakote. Just stain it and fill up your spray gun. And once that's done, you are ready to spray your parts so here is uh, one of those brackets I'm trying to get one single nice coat you don't want to over spray it so it, uh, your coating doesn't run you also don't really want to miss any corners you basically have to have a hundred percent nice coverage of whatever your part is and this one is not a flat part so it's a little bit tricky to do but it, it was really good the way it came out I, I liked it it, uh, it it did look pretty good I also had a couple of small whatever those are small aluminum nuts that I decided to try this coating on so once everything is sprayed you have to give it like 30 minutes flush time then you're ready to bake this coating required one hour at 300 degrees Fahrenheit I used this industrial oven and here's a whole bunch of little and bigger parts that I sprayed uh, they are pretty much done uh, everything is hot and I'm about to touch a hot piece of metal I think yep I just did that it was hot so once your parts are cured you can take them out and you can handle them and here is those two brackets one of them and there is another one laying on the on that foam they came out really good I like the results and there is a couple of other parts that I also painted it's nice and shiny some trailing arms for the suspension of my car they look just like if they came out of uh, out of factory these reinf reinforcement bars they look they also came out really good everything really came out nicely 
or came out nice I liked the result it I didn't really mess anything up I had a couple of other aluminum brackets those also just beautiful and some sway bar bushing brackets sprayed them all over inside and out also sprayed my uh, little action camera cage uh, it was originally anodized which was actually chipping and I dropped it a couple of times and here is a, a couple of larger parts some control arms so that's pretty much it